What is up guys? My name is Alex and welcome to a new video and this is going to be how to uh, you know learn to edit with Adobe Audition CS6 because I'm making videos like how to um, edit like videos in Sony Vegas and how to do all kind of things in Sony Vegas in terms of video editing. This is just um, especially for audio it's just perfect to edit your voice or you want to record your something or you want to record your voice you want to yeah, play a cover play an instrument all that kind of stuff so welcome to a new series this is the Adobe Audition CS6 series I'm going to show you guys like how to do some really cool um, audio effects audio and video it kind of blends together and this is like a possibility to make you uh, to set, to make your audio sound as good as your videos look. So this is episode one. I'm gonna explain to you guys um, what Adobe Audition CS6 is before I get started, so you guys will know what I'm talking about. Okay, so Adobe Audition CS6 or just Audition is a audio editing program where you can record your voice, uh, you can add effects to your voice, uh, you can do on this, in this program you can do everything you you like you can imagine in terms of audio. So in Vegas it's video, this is audio. So basically I'm going to show you guys the basic things you need to do to set up your program that you can record right away. So if you just want to record a video, so I'm going to show you guys like the basics, like how to get started. If you say like, okay, I just want to add some bass to my voice, you know, like make make it sound like a radio voice or something, or just you know um, bring up the volume without clipping it. I can ramble on for Forever. it's just endless so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it so the first thing you do when you open up CS6 is just this screen and I'm gonna recommend you guys to always do your items um, like you know recording instruments voiceover anything you want to do it and multi-track and I'm gonna show you guys what to do so this is a screen when you boot up CS6 so the first thing you want to do is you want to go, going to go to the left and you want to click on the file and then we're gonna click on a multi-track session so the awesome thing is like before you can start you already need to save your progress there's no chance you'll ever lose your um, project so let's say this is just a uh, test I'm just gonna click on you just want to leave those settings as they are so just want to type in your name and click on OK. And this looks a bit more like um, it looks a bit easier uh, to work with because you have like those separate tracks and all that kind of stuff. So basically the first thing you want to do to do to go ahead and record. It is really simple because you see all those buttons and above me that side there is just I think your head might explode when you see this for the first time. And you're like, dude, how am I going to learn this? And this is why I'm gonna just going to make those tutorials because I want to help you guys. The first thing you want to do is you want to set up your microphone uh, so you can you know record and your speaker so you actually you can hear what you're recording so the first thing you want to do is you're just going to click on edit preferences and pick general okay this menu pops up and you want to skip all those you just want to jump right to audio hardware this is where you're going to select your microphone so the default input is my uh, Samsung C1 Pro microphone and the output it are those um, Realtek high definition audio uh, speakers. So what we've done now is we have the selected microphone that we want and we're just gonna select it the, you know, the proper output so you can hear what you're doing. That's it basically, you wanna just click on okay. And then to start recording, you just wanna press on this little R that says recording and it also says aim for record. You wanna click it and then it, it becomes red. And when I talk, as you can see, the little green bar goes up. And it also show you guys like uh, this is going to be too loud, but this is like okay in the green. But if you're gonna be like this, it's gonna turn red, and that's just telling you like, dude, your microphone is way too loud. So this is actually perfect. So the first, the next thing you want to do to able to record, uh, you just want to click on this little R icon. You just want to go down to this red little icon. That's like the record icon. You want to press on this, and as you can see, when I'm talking, it is recording, and that's how simple it is, guys. Look. I just booted up the program and I learned you how to record within a minute, two minutes. And as you can see, it's just recording my vocal. And if I tap on the microphone, you will also see those effects as you can see. So this is the proper microphone. So that's how you record with Adobe C uh, CS6. And basically to stop recording, it is really easy. You just want to press on this icon, which says stop recording. Boom, that's it. And here you have your audio. So you can just drag your clip around. So this is what I just said. I'm gonna play it back to you guys so you can hear uh, what I recorded. So this is what I recorded. And as you can see, when I'm talking, it is recording. And that's how simple it is, guys. Look, I just booted up the program and I learned you how to record within a minute, two minutes. And yeah, so basically that's what I recorded. It sounds stupid. 
stupid, but that's how it is, guys. That's how simple it is, because all those buttons, these menus, it makes the program look that it's really difficult to learn, but it isn't, guys. So basically, that's how simple it is. So you just want to uh, set up your microphone. And once you have set up your microphone and speakers, you don't want to do it ever again. This is just once, uh, and then you just save it, and basically that's what you do just set up your microphone set up your speakers and the next thing is just you want to just click on this little icon that said that that becomes red and that sets aim for record when i click that when i go to this button which says um just record and that's it and when you're done you click on this little icon you click on stop recording that's how simple it is so if you guys want to know like um like how to add effects to it and echo and reverb and how to export to mp3 and the quality and how to do all those kind of things make sure to smash that subscribe button down below because i can tell you guys every monday and friday there will be a new episode so two episodes a week from adobe audition where i'm gonna explain to you guys how to do certain things so i'm just gonna learn you guys stuff week by week so now i just show you guys how to record and this friday i'm gonna show you guys the next thing what you can do um, to be able to record proper audio and to edit it and to just to master this program within a really amount of short of time without um like finding it everything out of yourself so basically that's it for this video guys i want to thank you guys for watching and if you want to see more of those adobe audition tutorials every monday and friday at 12 p.m pst that's 9 p.m ct for the european followers make sure to subscribe down below and if you find this video helpful feel free to leave a thumbs up down below it's always appreciated and as i always say thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys on friday for for the last video of this week this adobe audition tutorial so i want to thank you guys for watching good luck with your audio and happy editing and i'll see you guys in this friday in about uh, four episodes, it's going to be the 22nd of May and then I find something else. When I started using video editing software, it was like, I have my own Patreon page. You have fucking trolled. Channelpages.com. Kind of nice weather. And I'm a tight with just Alex Halford. You know, yes. it's his channel, so that's a bit of a logic.